Hey guys, so welcome to Shojip Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use smart object to create advanced AI and to make AI overcome obstacles. So make sure you have the CryEngine as a sample project because you know you need the character here. Um, let's go ahead and open that. If you don't know how to import players, uh, you can check out my other videos about importing FPS player. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this project. All right, we have the project open. Let's go ahead and create a new level. I'm going to name it level one. Keep it small and simple. Let's test if we, you have the, uh, if you go to um, switch to game, you should have the FPS already. All right. Press F1 to switch to third person. All right, make sure you have this, all right? You go to AI in your uh, create object and then choose navigation area. So we're going to create this area for AI. Something like this. Click, 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 and then double click to end it. All right. So if you don't see this blue kind of area, then you can turn it on by going to, um, you can go to game AI. Then you can go to uh, debug navigation agent type. Make sure visual medium size character is checked. Then you will see uh, visually this area. You can select this by clicking here. Also, before that, uh, make sure um, you know your navigation area is has the medium size character checked. All right. Uh, we're going to add uh, cubes here. So go to designer and pick um, designer box. All right. So we're going to draw a box. Uh, not here. What happened here? Yeah, I can place it here. I guess I don't mind. Let's place one here. Uh, and let's make it wider. Okay. Uh, wider and bigger. Something like this. Okay, so we're going to duplicate this. Make it taller as well. All right. All right, so we're going to duplicate this and put it here. Okay. I have two objects here. Um, now, what do you want to do? Make sure you have the blue area on uh, top of the designer box. If you don't see the blue area on top of your box, you can select the navigation area and lift it up move it around and move it down and and you should see it back all right so we have this so what are you going to do is we're going to um, go to ai smart object and put a smart object here all right and then we're going to do is we're going to go to have the smart object selected we're going to go to smart object class and then we're going to go to a uh, navigation human and then select jump 300 version 300 these are different height so let's see how tall is this this is pretty tall so let's adjust our box to that um, there you go all right All right, so this is good. Make sure the circle is in the blue area and the color is yellow. And the same thing here. Uh, we can move a little back and move this as back as well. Something like this. Yeah, all right, that's, that's good enough. Now we're going to place our AI here. AI, legacy entities. Yeah, I put it here. All right. Okay. All right. Before that, I want to show you something. All right. Let's move the um, this game uh, smart object away from this. All right. Keep it over there. So I'm gonna see how it's behave right now. All right. So if I if I go here and play. 
right? Press F1. And let's get his attention. He's shooting, right? He was shooting, but he's not coming toward me. He's just standing there, right? So that's where the smart object comes in. Let's bring in the some smart object back to here. All right. Make sure it's yellow and nicely aligned in the blue area. Okay. Now I'm going to spawn again. Let's see how it behaves now. Uh, let's get his attention. Oh, look, look, he's coming. <laughs> he's he jumped down the box to chase me now. Right there, see that? That's how the smart object works. Oh, I killed myself. Anyway, uh, so that was the point. I mean, I hope you guys uh, found it useful. Um, and you can play around with this uh, many way. You can create different obstacles. Let's create something very quickly, like this. Right. I put it here. Uh, make it wider. I'm gonna duplicate this. now let's try uh, let's add more objects see how this works all right so he's going to jump from here to here um then now i'm going to i'm going to duplicate this there you go and put it uh bring him here so du duplicate the other game object so we're going to try different ones so we're going to try what uh click on smart object class and instead of jump So this one, okay, let's try this. Let's move this all the way back here. Move this two all the way back here. Move this guy back here, okay? Now what you wanna do is we're going to place this yeah. Create an um, obstacle in between. Let's place a box and just duplicate this and move it to the side. Uh, we're going to make it narrow and small like this. Narrow. Let's move it here. I just wanted to make sure it fits well. Something like this. Okay. Break it down a little bit now. This is good. This is good. Make sure it's in this on the surface. Yeah, something like this. Let's give it a try, okay? Um, so I'm going to spawn here, then I'm going to jump down to hide myself. Oh, look, look, he's coming toward me. Uh, Alright, let's, let's start again, let's start again. Um, this time I'm not gonna I'm gonna spawn here, okay? Let's spawn here. Alright, let's spawn here so we can see and go to third person. Look he's jumping <laughs> he jump over and fell. Oh my god, this is so fun. Alright, this time I got him, alright? Last time I died on my own grenade. Alright, so he jumped over these obstacles. 
uh, and you know he was on top of this and I hope you guys found it useful until next time goodbye